Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number 13 of Pac-Man. Hopefully not as unlucky for us as number 13 has been in previous years. But uh, this time we're going to crack on with this Serie A based side. A couple of the new Argentinians in there with uh, Santana and Morales on the right hand side. A couple of players don't really fit in with uh, Diop and Martin Kelly. But hopefully after survival last year we can crack on. Maybe look towards promotion this year. We'll have to wait and see. But we come up against a very, very strong Russian league side in the first one. In this one, it's got Seydou Dumbia up top. He's got Chris Sambra, the uh, centre back, Akinfeev or Akinfeev, not really too sure how to pronounce that in uh, in goal, and Lasana Diara, along with Kazuki Honda in those two central midfield roles. So we're going, definitely going to be up against it. And I was a bit frustrated that he was able to get in front here. We blocked a couple of efforts before and Saudi finally gets a shot on target. Does find that bottom left-hand corner, the uh, the left back. It's been downgraded to a non-rare this year, actually, on Saudi. But uh, that was really frustrating. But we weren't going to be behind for long. We're actually going to get ourselves back on level terms before the half-time whistle. And uh, we're going to work the ball across really, really nicely. And Santana, on his debut, slots the ball underneath the goalkeeper to bring us back to 1-1 in the 45th minute. That's how we went in at half time pleased to have been able to come back that quickly and show a bit of resilience on the pitch but uh, it would be nice to push on second half and try and get ourselves in front and that is exactly what we did Patsini with a wonderful finish there really really good accuracy from uh, from distance with the shot I don't particularly like playing with Patsini I will be honest I would it would be nice to uh, to get another Serie A uh, attacker because he's not the nicest to play with his touch isn't that good his finesse isn't that good it's only that lace shot and particularly that lace shot from distance that is actually any good with him but Santana scored a second on his debut there to uh, to make it uh, 3-1 and then from that moment on he just went AFK so it was just a case of scoring another couple of goals including another distance one from Pazzini which actually was a very very nice goal I will have to be uh, to be honest there I'm giving that and then Bonucci picks up a header from a corner for the 6th in the 90th minute and that is how we ran out 6-1 winners so it's a shame that goal difference doesn't come into it doesn't it with uh, the 7-2 win in the previous episode and then the 6-1 win in this one but uh, we, do get, we do get the 3 points which is absolutely vital we are going to start off with a 100% record in this new Division 8 season. Hopefully we can push on and uh, get promotion this year. It would be very, very nice to progress up through the leagues, but the next game is against an even stronger side. It's a BPL side with Begovic, Gibbs, Brown, who we've recently got in a pack and didn't want, by the way. Yanga and Biwa, Azpi. He's playing the 4-3-3 with the uh, the fourth variant of which with two CMs and one Cam in Musa Dembele. And you can see what his tactic is going to be. Get it to those fast wide players in Dyer and Asaidi. Whip the ball in for Papi Cisse to nod in with the header OP. But we're actually going to take Take a 1-0 lead ourselves. Pazzini is going to break free here. Really, really good run. But uh, that finesse finish is just woeful. Plays it straight at the goalkeeper. And I'm not sure whether that's because of uh, Pazzini's just inability to play a finesse shot. Or because of the uh, the nerfing in the patch. But I'll let him off this time. Perhaps it's the nerfing of the patch. If I'd hit it with his laces, maybe it would have rifled into the bottom corner. But nonetheless, Morales was on the end of it. And able to... Uh, to pop the ball into the back of the net on the rebound and we are able to take a 1-0 lead at half time but we push on into the second half he was kind of making sure that his, uh, his tactics were going down wide areas and whipping it in was going to work and he was actually going to make it work definitely this time whips the ball in Pape Cisse beats two defenders to the ball rises like an absolute summon powers the ball into the back of the net and makes it 1-1 and that was a bit of a non-event a non this game we do get a point from it which is nice it would have been nicer to get three points but uh, there weren't that many chances in it uh, of any particular note, a few we did have a few chances between us, but uh, none that were any you know of any real uh, significance. Only really the goals that were you know shots that weren't blocked, etc. But we're still undefeated in Division Eight. We're playing well. We're picking up points. It's exactly what we wanted when we made this move to gold. Now, as you can see, I've put Lucas Piszczek up on the market. I uh, I started him at 10k because uh, I had one not too long ago on my main account and I paid about 12 and a half for him I think and I uh, started him at 10 then uh, just waited, wanted to go and check that I had actually put him up at an adequate price and uh, he has dropped a little bit since I had him on my main account but he's still going for around about 11 to 12 thousand coins as you can see so hopefully he can sell on and that will give us a solid coin background so we're to push further on in the next few episodes maybe we can open a 5k pack in each of the next three episodes maybe if we can uh, push on in the league and get that league bonus as well so we'll have to wait and see but that is going to wrap this particular one to a close guys so thank you very much for watching please feel free to leave the video a like as well if you could be so kind show the uh, the series some superb support which you have been doing over the past couple of weeks when it's uh, when, since it's come back from uh, the hiatus when we moved from silver to gold and uh, of course feel free to subscribe if you haven't already there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over the pac-man to do so and if you missed the previous episode then there will be a link over the pink ghost on screen and annotation to take you to that video so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time